Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer made its debut over at Star Wars Celebration over four months ago, and ever since then, a lot of fans have been very excited and very eager to see the upcoming new footage in the form of a second trailer by Disney and Lucasfilm, as well as J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to, well, be a revelation movie. It's going to have a lot of twists and turns that will lead to saga -wide implications in this story that's really going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one. And we do know now that Disney and Lucasfilm are finally pushing the marketing of Episode 9 and it's actually coming in the full swing here as we go throughout the months of September, October, and November. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to various shot descriptions of the upcoming trailer 2 of this movie, this is where things begin to get very intense for Episode 9. Now specifically shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey is in a standoff with Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren on the desert world of Pasana, where it's explained to be very much like a western where it is seven against one for Rey. It's described that one of the sequences involves a moment in which the Knights of Ren charge toward Rey where she ignites her lightsaber blade where it then cuts to another moment where both Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting on the desert world to a revised track of the Imperial March. It's described to be an epic wide shot between the two as they fight in what's said to be a brief lightsaber duel that will be shown in the final cut of the movie. The next describes a sequence in which Disney is said to tease the flash fights where both Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting in the rain and as all of this happens it's described that they use the footage from episode 3 Revenge of the Sith in the background of both Anakin and Obi-Wan fighting on Mustafar to use as visual narrative that this is a strong parallel between the two that will serve as a callback to the prequel trilogy era. During this moment, a revised track of Battle of the Heroes is teased. Lastly, it's said that a sequence of Luke Skywalker inside of a cave, opening a tough wooden box, where as Luke opens it, a holocron is revealed, where the laughter and dialogue of Palpatine begins to play over the shot as all of this happens. It's implied that this serves as a flashback for Luke at some point in time in the film. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is a very important movie, not just for Disney and Lucasfilm, but for us, the Star Wars community, you know, the fans that really make these movies actually happen, since we do indeed buy the tickets. So it really does have to resonate with fans when it comes to their marketing approach of this film, especially when it comes to, you know, the upcoming trailer 2, which sadly had a slight delay, as well as new footage that is actually said to be on the horizon as well. And on top of all this, we do know that Episode 9 is going to be a very big movie. It's being treated as a world event, a historical film, if you will, that will open up in theaters on December 19th. So the one piece that I really want to go over that I find to be very important Impressive and one that really stands out on its own is that we have a moment in which both Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting in the middle of a torrential rainstorm. And as that actually all happens, in the background it said that they used older footage from Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith between both Anakin and Obi-Wan fighting on Mustafar and giving us a parallel between the two. It's actually quite scary when you think about it because of how many different parallels are being implemented in The Rise of Skywalker, how it's going to have so many different callbacks to, of course, the prequels and the originals. It's honestly very crazy. I think it's a great thing because it's pretty much staying true to George Lucas and his original idea. It's like poetry, it rhymes. As long as they're not copying it beat for beat or they're not copying the specific angles and shots here and there and they're just giving us little parallels, I think that they'll be fine. So that actually being said, you know, we do know that this film is going to have a lot of prequel trilogy Easter eggs, which is also great. This film has a lot to offer when it comes to the marketing. Now, the other piece that I do want to go over very briefly here is we have a moment in which Luke Skywalker is said to be inside of a dark cave where he opens up a, a tough wooden box where inside lies a holocron, where in the background it's described that Palpatine's laughter can be heard, as well as additional dialogue that was recorded by Ian McDermott himself. Now, this most certainly is in the form of a flashback, and most likely answers the big question as to what we, ha what we have been going over as to how exactly Luke Skywalker got hold of Palpatine's holocron, which then hence fell into the hands of Rey, which Kylo eventually takes away from Rey during their Force bond in Episode 9, since they are able to touch each other as we saw in The Last Jedi with their hands. So if Kylo really wants to, he can take whatever he needs from Rey at any given point in time. 
So, with that being said, we do know that this film is going to answer many questions from The Force Awakens that were not answered in The Last Jedi, and that is a big deal. That tells us that Disney is, of course, really trying to make this film a revelation movie, and like I said, you know, Yunus Watamo, the man who portrayed Chewbacca in the sequels, even said that this entire movie, the entire movie from start to finish, is a I did not see this coming moment. That's what he said, and that is a big, bold statement. That really tells us that this movie movie is going to essentially provide us so many different twists and turns that it's going to really change everything related to Star Wars. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.